In this video, we'll discuss some key tips for collecting good quality frog call recordings in the field. As discussed in our safety video, before you set off looking for frogs, ensure you have planned what habitats you will visit and in what order. Remember to use your head torches and flashlights to move safely through the site. Stick to paths for your safety, and as you walk, scan the track and its edges as you may randomly encounter frogs moving about, especially on wet nights. Take photos, but do not handle the frog. Once you reach your target site or hear frog calls you'd like to record, stop, turn off lights and wait quietly for a few minutes. This will allow the frogs to adjust to your presence. It will also allow you to listen carefully to the call and determine what you may be hearing. Try to note how many individuals you think are calling and whether you are hearing more than one species. If you're unsure on the species, you can use earphones to listen to the frog calls on the Frog Census app while in the field. If you can hear a different species calling far off, take note and head to that site after recording as very faint sounds may not be picked up on the recording. Once the frogs have adjusted, it's time to start recording. The Frog Census app uses your mobile device's microphone to collect recordings of frog calls. The recording process is straightforward and explained on the app, but there are a couple of tips that can help you collect the best recording possible. First, try to avoid or have your back to any noise from traffic or other park users. If there is wind, put your back to the breeze to shield the mic and minimise background noise in the recording. Frogs are surprisingly loud for their size, so resist the temptation to put your recording device too near to any individual calling frog. Some calls are so loud they may distort the mic and mask other frogs calling in the background. This would result in a recording that doesn't collect a representative sample of the number of different species on site. Finally, ensure you collect recordings from multiple spots across your site to ensure you capture the widest species diversity possible. Ensure each of your points you record from is not too close to each other so the recordings do not overlap and record the same individual frogs. As discussed at the start of this video, planning your walking route and recording spots is a good way to avoid overlap. 